Welcome everyone into my channel Everything PS. With you MD. Do you want to know more about how to create a new title in Premiere Pro? Then this is the right place to be. Let's start. For this tutorial, I'm working with the 0402 create a new title project file. You can find that project filed with the media associated with this tutorial. Double click on it to open it in Premiere Pro. Let's create a title using the graphics workspace. I'm clicking on graphics at the top of the screen. And just to be on the safe side. Click on the panel menu. And choose reset to saved layout. The essential graphics panel has two tabs. Browse. And edit. There's not much for us to do in the edit tab just yet. So let's start in browse. Here we can see a long list of pre-built graphics. We can choose to incorporate into a sequence. I'm gonna take this basic lower third. And I'm going to drag this on top of the clip we have in the sequence. If a dialog pops up advising you to use Typekit to install a missing font, just make sure you're online. Put a check in the box to sync from Typekit. And click sync fonts. The fund will be installed, and you'll be ready to go. You'll need to close the project. And open it again for the font to display correctly. I'm lining up my playhead. So we can see the title as well. Or I can just click on the end of the clip. And drag it to make it a little bit longer. Now I'm gonna select this graphic by clicking on it just once. And when I do. The edit tab in the essential graphics panel becomes live automatically. I'm going to select the type tool. And you'll notice that in this workspace. The tools for the timeline have moved up to the top of the screen. And let's edit this text. I'm gonna click where it says your name here. And I'll put everything PS. And then this edit the second line. I'm just going to press Ctrl A there to become Command A on Mac OS. And let's take this travelog. Title. You'll notice it in the essential graphics panel. We've got some pretty standard options for fonts. And for the fill color. The fill color is the color of the text. That we've got selected. And you'll notice at the top of the essential graphics panel. Each item is a separate layer on this list. Whichever one is selected. It's the one you're going to edit with all of the controls in this panel. You'll notice that this T icon for the title. Has a little tiny triangle at the bottom right hand corner of it. And that triangle to indicate that it's a menu. I'm gonna click and hold. And this gives me access to both the type tool and the vertical type tool. With that selected, I will click at the top, and I'll type in some text. I've typed in the word holidays, but my text is too tall. So let me just press Ctrl or Command A to select all, and under the text category of controls, when my font is a font size, I'm just going to click and drag on this blue number to make that a bit smaller. There's a slider control to do the same thing right next to it, then you will notice in the tools panel here. I have a pen tool. And if I click and hold on to the pen tool. I have a rectangle tool. I'm going to use that to pick out a section of the screen. Just like this. Where my text is. Of course, this new shape appears in this essential graphics panel. But it's at the top of the list. Which isn't much good to me. I need it under my text. So I'm gonna click and drag down. Until it's at the bottom of the list. Now it's behind my text. I'm going to select that shape layer as it's called. And I can either give this a fill color. By clicking on the color swatch. And choosing something maybe green. Then I will click OK. Or I can use this eye drop. I'm gonna click on the eye drop here. And now you can see as I drive around the interface, I'm getting different colors. Let's choose the sky color. You will have the option to add a stroke. I'm just making that a little bit bigger. By clicking and dragging on the number here. There we go. And a shadow if you want. There are a number of other controls in the essential graphics panel. You'll find that if you select an item. Either with the text tool. Or by going to the selection tool. As I am now. You see you can click on each item separately. You can experiment by clicking and dragging on the controls. I'm pretty happy with this as a start. And I'm gonna go back to the editing workspace to continue working on my project. Then you will notice, there's a highlight on this word travelog. Because I've got that item selected. I'm gonna click on the background layer with the timeline panel. To deselect. And I'm ready to carry on editing. It's a good idea to try out several of the templates for this essential graphics panel. 
and use them as a starting point for your own designs. Here we go we are done for today. Don't forget to sub, like, share, and leave your comment down below in the comment section.